Afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are all over the world. Michelle is coming back on this Friday, October, October the 18th, 2024. On a Friday, like I said, oh, you know, afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are all over the world. Just wanted to come back and kind of, you know, do what I do, you know, kind of share my narrative you know, control my narrative, you know, and share some stories in hopes of uh, inspiring others, in hopes of encouraging others, and, you know, doing my duty. You know, it's a duty to help people if you know you can, and you know you're supposed to, especially when you know exactly what's going on in the world, and I do, as well as others, and so that's why I like to share. I want to talk again about what's something I've talked about for, uh, you know, for for a while it's about alignments and how we are aligned destined to align have you know destined to have an alignment in life and I know for a lot of people uh, that sounds illogical illogical crazy you know a lot of people dismiss it a lot of people believe and that's what I'm saying you have to challenge your beliefs that they need to interfere per se in the development of their life instead of allowing things to unfold in your life. There's a lot of people who are realizing that they wasted a whole lot of their lives on pseudoscience. Stuff that just really didn't doesn't have any doesn't hold any water and and if anything it 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 um interferes with your development, interferes with your evolution. And so a lot of people are uh, waking up, you know, after so many years, decades and realizing they were they were involving themselves in nothing more and nothing less than manipulation um interference more so than anything and just attempting to to make things perfect you know to to, to seek the perfect life to seek the perfect um uh, uh lined being lined up perfectly instead of being aligned properly so I, like everybody else, relied on pseudoscience to get me through my life, saying, you know, you know, believing this and believing that, you know, the zodiac signs are the number one thing, you know, uh, these certain type of uh, uh, indoctrination of ideology, you know, religion. You know, a lot of us had, you know, you have to go through some sort of, you have to go through some things that you may not like and some things that you may not understand and that's part of developing your consciousness and so many of us wanted the easy way out we wanted to know like so many of us wished that we were grown you know when we were young people we wanted to be grown up so quickly so quickly and I can guarantee you over half of us wish we could have done that all over again and not necessarily wish for such such <laughs> craziness to you know, to rush our to rush through our lives, and then believe that we have time to keep, uh, uh, <clears throat> and believe that we have time to do certain things. There are opportunities that so many of us have missed. All of us have missed opportunities, and that's because of our impatientness, our illogical thinking, our fantasies, our are, you know, and the main thing is, you know, the indoctrination, the delusion and hallucination about what it means to be a human being and not necessarily paying attention to the signs of who we are, what we are and why we are. Nature provided all of that. So once I came out of my delusion and hallucination, thanks to meditation, allowing myself to concentrate and ask the right questions of myself while at the same time, you know, uh, suspending my ego, labels, you know, uh, all of these things, not comparing myself to other people, uh, and just trusting the process. That's when things started happening for me. And I told you, a lot of things happen unconsciously. You do the development, you do the work, you stay righteous. You may not see what's happening, you may get frustrated, you may be impatient, but it wasn't until one day I woke up and it all made sense to me. It's, it's hard for me to put it in words and I'm not planning to, 
but it all makes sense now you know and so i didn't i don't need to interfere i don't need to be be wishful thinking all i need to do is visualize properly while being grounded in reality yes i love to be in my fantasies like everybody else but you have to stay in a reality of your situation if you want to evolve your consciousness evolve your reality so that's what i did you know and it took a while I mean, 2022 is when things things started to make sense to me in 2022. It started, I, I noticed something shifting inside of me. That's literal, figuratively, and metaphorically in 2017, however. And, um, at, well, to be honest with you, it may have started in 2007. But let's just, let's just keep it current. 2022 was, the, was a significant event for all of us, actually. You're not just including myself. Again, I woke up one morning and I felt like I was in another reality. And, you know, and for some people, um, that's hard to accept. But it's true. You can be, you know, you, there, there are different realities. There's different dimensions. There's different this and that and the other. There's different stages of consciousness. Some people are evolved, a little bit more evolved. Some are not. Some are barely making it. You know, a lot of us, a lot of us are in the barely making any category where, you know, you know, your, 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 your chance, your um, opportunities are running out. Instead of people keep telling you, you know, you can start over, you can start over, you can start over. That's not true, but that's fine. I, that my, my job, my, my, um, oh, gosh, I don't know what, how to say it, but my intentions and purposes are just to guide you you have free will to do whatever you want to do if you want to be and this is a metaphor if you want to be at the finish line i'm sorry at the starting point okay and run and get to the finish line but then believe okay i need to run back and start over i mean you can anybody can do whatever they want to do that's your free will I told you I I am getting from point A to point B in my alignment, and I'm extremely extremely thankful that I trust myself. So, when I woke up back in 2022, I told you my reality was different. Something something was churning inside of me that I okay, it's time for me to. And even though I was sick as a dog, I, I told you the first uh, three months of 2022, my voice was gone, completely gone. I was sick. I don't know. It could it could have been some type of infectious disease. Who knows? I wasn't feeling good. I couldn't talk for three months. And but at the same time, I felt like something was developing inside of me. Okay, so like you know, the healing process. When once you're getting to a point of being healed, it is not pretty, and a lot of people are realizing that. You know, and it's gonna even if when you are healed, you know, there's still gonna be ugly ugly moments keep that in mind but it's going to be a different uh caliber so when i woke up my reality was different i was looking around thinking okay wow it, it was it was a wow moment and then that's when a series of events started happening for me you know i saw you know i saw the eyes of uh you know I, you know it was it was an opening of a vision that was that was beautiful for me and everything has to be an individual um a journey an individual path but we all can walk together, walk on the same path, you know, walk in the same direction. But we are all individually responsible for our own well-being, you know, for our be, for our well, for our consciousness, our psyche. So, alignment. Now, a lot of people have a problem with alignment, and let's look this up again. When I say that, you know, some of us are destined and have a, a destined, re, a, de, a predestined. Alignment, and we all do, is just because of the interference. Even the planet, even the planet, has had that. But our interference has sent, has uh, caused our planet to go into a uh, a direction of destruction. Okay, a direction of destruction. Alignment. It says arrangement or position in a straight line or parallel lines. Okay, uh, a condition of having parts so adjusted. Okay, uh, but let me see if I can see it in a 
in a uh, metaphor. Uh, yeah. Alignment. A lot of people are questioning why they believed certain things and wasted their whole, almost wasted their whole life on pseudoscience, supernatural, that kind of thing. Ah, metaphors of alignment. There's a lot of uh, commercialization. A lot of things have been commercialized. But uh, it basically means that things are lined up for you properly. And all you, all you have to do is just walk, just walk the alignment. Go through, go through the path. Things have been laid out for us for thousands and thousands of years, millions of years of how to live and how to be and how to take responsibility and accountability for our lives. That has been going on for millions of years, but the, the constant interference is where we, that, the constant interference has caused our planet, as I said, to go, to, go towards a path of destruction, okay? Some of us will, will survive it, but the majority will not. And that's literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. So, um, alignment, um, you know, you, things are just aligned up for you. And all you have to do is just, you know, it's just like a textbook. You know, you have a assignment, you have homework, you, you know, it's, just, it, it's, 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 um, you know, a lot of people have a lot of great quotes too. And a lot of people were charlatans too. There's a lot of people out there with fantastic quotes, fantastic magnificent but they were not walking the talk and they were their own worst enemies i've we've all dealt with that where we've met people this happened uh you know like the past year or two where you know certain people's um personas were crushed you know a lot of people's personas are being collapsed and a lot of us will know people personally yes the entertainers are collapsing politics Political figures are going to collapse. The economy is going to collapse. Certain businesses are going to collapse. Certain this or certain that are going to collapse. You know, well-known people. But each individual, I can guarantee, knows about um, certain people that have collapsed. I mean, everything has been destroyed for them, especially on the material level. And some of them... Because of that, because of their loss of materialism, some people get so despondent where they take themselves out. Okay, I told you about the cowards of uh, cults that are roaming around confusing people. Now, alignment. It says, some, well, you know, it says it's not about being perfect, but being authentic. You know, that, that was a well-known quote by someone. Another one says... Uh, alignment is the key to unlocking your true potential, potentials, true... These are quotes I'm just pulling up. You can look them up yourself too. You can make your own. Um, you know, we're all unique. We're all different. You know, we have our own thoughts, feelings, desires. You know, a lot of people say be yourself. A lot of people claim that they are being themselves and they're not. If you're following, listen, get offended all you want. If you're following zodiac signs, that's pseudoscience and you're not being authentic. Okay, so get upset. But don't get upset with me. Get upset with, you know, get upset with yourself. Okay, and stop taking things out on other people and stop blaming other people. Okay? So, my alignment, as I said, was visualized to me. Okay? And it was through a series of events that just happened to happen. I told you about my father, my parents. And, and this is all along the same lines that that has happened for me. Uh, my dad saw my mom years, you know, when they were in elementary school. Okay. He saw her getting on the school bus one day with her sister. And he just happened to take notice of her. It's like, hmm. All right. In elementary school. And, and, and it doesn't have to be elementary school. But just listen to the, what my point is. Ten years later... My mom and dad happened to be in the same city. And this time, my mom saw him. And then the rest is history. <laughs> you understand what I mean? So, for me, that's, that's similar to what happened to me. I saw a face. And I took notice. Hmm. And then, a 
approximately, you know, about 10, 15, you know, years later, boom. You know, so. And that can be anything. That can be a face of someone. That can be, a, 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 you know, you'll go to a city. You can go to a town. You can go to a country. And you have this, this kind of, this kind of sense of, hmm, there's a sense of something there. That, you know, that is, you know, like I said, it's like a strike of lightning. You see somebody and it's like, whoa, wait a minute. You know, you have this, this uh, connection to someone you saw. And it can be on television. It can be on in a, in a magazine. It can be on, on a newsletter. It can be, it can be in person. In person is better, uh, of course. But th sometimes that can take a minute to happen because of our technology. We do everything online. So, you know, so in other words, there's a knowing, okay, now, is it, is it, does it mean that it's going to happen? No, it doesn't mean it will happen. All because you aligned on a certain path doesn't mean that there's going to be, you know, there's going to be detours. Yes, there's going to be um, uh, interference. There's going to be obstruction. And that's part of it. But that's why you need to hang in there. You know, because I, like I said, I could have thrown in the towels years ago. And, the, and and again, there's no guarantee to anything, but I'm going to see it through. That's my point. I'm going to see it through. And then, con and then consider other adjustments that I need to make. Okay? So, do not get upset with people when they kind of bring are bringing things to your attention. It's about the evolution of your consciousness. It's about coming out of these uh, pseudoscience beliefs. It's about coming about coming out of these supernatural beliefs. No one has to know you're doing that, however. Okay, no one has to know. It's an individual, personal, interpersonal. It's a it's an individual, innermost, inner. You know, something you have to do within. It's about you. It's about you trusting you. But we, I, us, we're all in this together to help each other as best we can. You know, some people do it to be a guiding others and such and, and doing such things. So my alignment, as far as I'm concerned, is perfect. Now, what does that mean? It don't mean a goddamn thing, okay? Because perfect doesn't exist. That's why I said that. Perfect does not exist. So it makes it, um, I mean, and, and it's worthwhile. I, I'm, not, I'm not changing anything about it. So far, it's been fantastic. Is it perfect? No. And so perfect means, um, see, now all that has been commercialized where you don't really know. Flawless. Okay. There's nothing flawless. <laughs> but it's, it's a necessary, and I feel good about it. I feel good inside. So I wouldn't change a thing. That's my point. My alignment has been met, met with um, hills and valleys. Uh, turmoil the, I, it has been met with the required life experiences okay to evolve your consciousness okay and that is our responsibility that's why we exist is to evolve our consciousness not to accumulate materialism not to start wars not to interfere in other countries not to steal not to lie deceive indoctrinate and hypnotize, hypnotize people steal lie criminal energy okay it's about universal love it's about love of each other it's about intimacy it's about it's about peace and love freedom harmony abundance intimacy wisdom and truth okay i'm gonna send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains trust your alignment trust yourself and trust me i will be back